The critical path for successfully shipping a Microsoft operating system is testing every detail from the earliest stages of development. The testing of the first build or version of Windows 98 began just one month after the launch of Windows 95. A build contains the complete code for the Windows 98 operating system. Today, Windows 98 consists of over 13 million lines of code. The daily cycle for writing, reviewing, adding, and testing code begins each day with a war team meeting. At this meeting, the Win98 development team discusses the current status and plan of action. Nearing the final release of the product, the team frequently meets multiple times a day. In Windows 98, there are over 3,000 customer-driven enhancements, each requiring new or revised code. The code for an enhancement is written and then individually tested. Once it is approved, it is handed off to what's known at Microsoft as the engine room. This is the core lab where every line of code for Windows 98 is compiled into the daily build, verified, then released for review and testing. Input also comes in from another quarter million beta testers worldwide and is incorporated into the review process. Windows 98 is tested daily on over 1,400 computers, 200 monitors, 800 modems, 250 net cards, 350 sound cards, 1,600 printer drivers, and hundreds of other devices. It is also tested on an average of 120 applications daily. By the time Windows 98 ships, it will have been tested for compatibility with over 5,000 applications from around the world. The objective of this testing and review cycle is to ensure that Windows 98 meets performance, stability, and compatibility standards on PCs worldwide. As a new day begins, so does the daily cycle for Windows 98.